If anyone just saw that chamber there by Solid Slug, it was glorious. Yeah, that was beautiful. I was almost, that was so fast I almost didn't see the swing on my screen. Had the footwork in there perfectly. I think this, uh, this scrim needs more, uh, kicks though. Yeah, it is pretty low on kicks. I would like to point out that the <laughs> yeah, with used the two a spear solo against Wapaz. He didn't win, but... Pharrell is actually, he's really good with two-handers. When he goes expo, he, as Rodok, he tends to get that dumb little hammer that they have, but he does pretty well with it. Yeah, you know how I was saying earlier that you should just only use the hammers, really? Why are they Rodox without hammers? That's a pretty good question. Like, I've seen that so much, actually. It's like, just recently, there's like, people pick Rodox all the time, and then no one has a hammer. Not many people can really I mean, pull off using hammers takes a certain finesse or lack thereof. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Whatever way you want to look at it. No, like, I, I never pull out a hammer as infantry. But two people I see I mean, do I it all the time. It. I see Green Knight and, like, Braveheart. Both of those guys are Yeah, Braveheart's a tank with, with it. Hammer. Yeah, Serial's actually pretty good with a hammer sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I, I was there for his... Uh, 24 and 0 on a pub with only a hammer, like, naked. That was funny. Yeah, that's, like, it's ridiculous. The hammer can surprised. be so nuts. People target to, uh, I mean, hammers almost as quickly as they target. Actually, even more quickly than, than, than they target anything else. Excuse my lack of ability to speak. Yeah, hammers are scary. Again, it's like... It's... Every two-hander, when you pull it out in a battle, everyone aims at you. Well, it has that element of block crushing, which is an actual way that, you know, you can't block it, you can't do anything about it if they get close enough. It's similar yeah. to kicks in that it's... Almost seems a bit broken, but it's this element of the game that's just that scary. Not a whole lot going on right now. Camps are being set. They are roasting marshmallows. Yeah, I think Blade is actually uh, setting up a tent. For his horse, in case of rain. Pause moving back a bit. Not sure what they're going to do with that. Oh, they're right on top of it. Nice healthy flag spawn for uh, Wapa there. WK is grouping up. Very smart of them. They've got two yeah, this could in the easily best. go either way. Oof, nice Great shot, Andy. Very nice. I feel like Wapa's a little spread out right now. I think they've got too many crossbows back there trying to get the right shot and not enough infantry. Yeah, they're yeah, not really agree. contesting the flag. 
Well, they have one guy, they have cheese pizza there. And, I mean, maybe he'll deliver, but I don't know. Oh, there and we he go. served up a slice right again. there. <laughs> um, slashed in the back. The pizza is cut. Speaking of people that should use hammers, why does Thor not have a hammer? I was just wondering that. I've also always wondered why his face is so unbecoming of the name of Thor. <laughs> why is it unbecoming? Right, like He's got a magnificent a beard. Plan. Shouldn't Thor have an amazing beard? He fucking wins that shit. Yeah. But, uh, oh, Jesus. look at that face. It's Those so archers. meek. Yeah, just Those freaking them. Nord archers with their machine guns just going crazy. This would be the map for it. I've always liked Nord archers and urban. That environments. probably was not fun. I can imagine it wasn't. Like to make a shout out to our spectators. Got Mock, Duke, Tonkam, Hero, Joe, Wiley. No, no, Wiley's on the team. Sorry, sorry. Karen. Cord. Were you asked to do a sh shout out? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm just doing this for the fun of it. <laughs> binary. Apparently it is uh Vendiger. Oh yeah, binary. Fiery. We should kick all these people and force them to watch the stream. Roxard. <laughs> hey, this is America. We have freedom here, no comedy. There's behooves and D man. <laughs> And Jux just joined. Jux, Jux. And now, now Jux, Jux, yes. Jux is easiest, I suppose. Uh, looks like Nords have moved into that alley where WK was initially holding. Well, I guess have we WK. seen this before? Yeah, seriously. It's just the same thing, except with different factions. Different angle as well. From the attacking. Yeah. Team. Does uh does Wapa have a cav? Yeah, they do. All right. Oh. This is probably gonna. I have a feeling this is gonna play out exactly like the other one did. Oh no, they're moving out of there. Yeah, maybe they saw the cav. I feel like or it, something. Yeah, I feel like if no, I don't think they did. I think he was pretty well hidden. Maybe they heard, heard him though. Uh, if Blade can go do work on all those infantry, the Wapa is gonna do really well. These stars, stars are a great idea. Cav is going to have a hard time doing anything to him up there. Interesting to see Kush with the war oh. cleaver instead of a hammer. What benefit does the war cleaver have over a great hammer? Or a, whatever the hammer is called. Probably the reach and the backstab. Also more safe. Don't need to be so close to the enemy. Yeah, fair enough. I suppose we'll see what he can do with it. Oh well, yeah, I was gonna go grab some food. We'll be right back. What kind of food? And is that Flag a good favor of WK? WK, yeah. WK Last time I said that, spawn. Master spawned and I stayed. It's going to be a very again. difficult push for Wapa. Yeah, their cap's going to be useless pretty much. Unless, uh... Yeah, their cap's going to be pretty much useless, never mind. 
They can they can Ooh, attack ninja them. moves there by Vero. Did you see that? Yeah, I did see that. Oh, nice shot. Ooh, damn, two ninjas. Look at that ninja. Oh, beautiful ninja, ninja over there. Man, Varela is just tearing them apart. Blade seeming to have some issues. <laughs> He's he's been a target. Oh, yeah, look at that. Anyway, which is I got you. <laughs> Veril just becomes a tank and runs over everyone. The yeah, that was infantry impressive. on that flag, definitely. Yeah. And Mock is permanently banned from the server. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> Calling a fiery band next to. In order to get a flag win, Neanderthal can't stay alive. Did anyone see that kick Viril got? That was a nice kick slash. Yeah, it might have been in the background. It's right in the middle of a group fight. It's surprising. Jeez, Whoppa. Viril's is actually That's too a much push. of a tank. Look at that. It's too bad the rest of the team went the other way. Oh my god. I think they're GG in it and go oh, yeah, to the next map. That is the map. Oh, yeah, I guess WK's win, yeah. Anyone know why so. Mark was banned? Uh, she said something about talking nope. to players during the scrum. Oh. God I heard something guys, about uh, screaming speak. and starting to think. No, that, that was Veril. Well, Veril screamed in, uh, and his uh, mumble or whatever they used, and they uh, just started killing everyone on Wapa. Which is completely <laughs> okay with everyone, because that was amazing. Yeah. Shouts to Vero being a tank. Uh, no, I think Mach just got banned because people are mean to Mach. Mach. Just because he's Mach. Well, I think... Shouts to Mach. I think it's good to know that right now we have at least one person who's watching the stream <laughs> and isn't, <laughs> isn't watching the match while they're here. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Hi, people. I mean, we've got one dedicated viewer now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> well, and actually, Mark is watching the stream. He's just here on the chat. I think that's what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm Portuguese. Right. I'm slow. Sorry. <laughs> hey. That's okay. <laughs> that's cool. From what I understand, you're the best Portuguese. I think just yeah, the best person too. in general. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to see the worst Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> still better than I am. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about mental skills and being stupid. Oof. So do we have a map number two, or are we just kind of... I thought they were going to take a second map. Yeah, I don't think anybody's uh, made any decisions on that yet. If not, that would be What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, yes, there's the call. Brandon Plans. Brandon and Vega. That makes sense. And the password was changed. That means something. I'll be right that back means that this map is probably WK's choice. Yeah, I think that's Wapa's choice. Probably Marnid's choice, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is Marnid's secret ninja tactics. It's good, it's a fantastic map, and I'm kind of glad that we saw around here. It's just... Yeah. It's one of those yeah. things that you know would be better with at least twice as many players. There was any fight on the dungeon part, on the underground? No. Ah, oh, pity. Uh, here we go for the massive rebo. Yeah, 
Hmm. It's too bad nobody spawned because this is viable. I think they might actually leave this. This one's not bad either. Yeah, I'd keep this. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wouldn't because Random Planes is the worst map ever. That, uh, the dust map, that'd be better if we had everyone in the spec playing at the same time. Dude, Wapa have an infantry and a crossbow. Alright, what did I miss? And they are Swadia. I am so the fucking two confused right around now. Us. Why are you confused? I've seen Wapa do this before. Uh, I'm confused by the uh, the choice of are they f two infantry and a crossbow. Wow. Yeah, that actually does surprise me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh man, a headshot on Kush there. And yeah, I was gonna say I remember one pretty large scale scrim against Wapa where they went almost all infantry Swadia and totally wrecked us for that round. They basically. Well, if if one doesn't get tagged up and die, like Kush just did, but the inf can um, really press the issue to the Vega archers and make it hard for them to defend against Cav. Ooh, this looks cool. I like this how it's fighting. It's a nice change for random planes. It's usually the most boring map of all time. Hard to keep up though. Gilden picks up a nice kill on the guy not paying attention. <laughs> There's so many fantastic Ooh, cabs. That was actually sick by on this random place. Gilden man. there. He took down three nice horse and killed him. I get two seconds. That was amazing. Yeah, that's so true. They're also good. I'm so jelly. Dude. They work together really well too. No, if I were Blade, I don't know, I would not pull out the sword, I would have kept the, uh, I probably would have kept the, uh, Great Lance out, because it's overpowered and ridiculous. Now, I think if Wapa wants to charge their infantry again, they should have somebody like Cheese Pizza, who's on a... Heavy horse going first and just knock everyone down and have the rest of their guys just come in with the great lances and just couch, couch, couch. I feel like that would work a lot better than kind of just uh, sending one or two at a time in and just getting mauled. Well, if you this hill tends if you to favor the archers, they end up by doing WK is they'll, they'll like pick out a target and they'll all end up hitting that target at the same time. So you know they're coordinating that stuff over voice chat? Yep, that's true. Those archers should be dead within seconds. Yeah. These fights have been very damage. close, I know though. No, that, those archers should be completely screwed. They got <laughs> really, like, messed up. See, that's what I'm talking about. They all just won in at the same time that time. Just did work. Yeah, see mine had like no health left from that. Good work by Wapa. And I just cleaned it up with them uh, Wapa Cav and should be good.
I think WK might do well to go half imp, half archer, and just stop all the cav and shoot them to death. We saw something really similar. Yeah, we need to get lucky with, with master uh... spawns. It can be very difficult against Wipaw, though know, they really know when to hit. We saw something really similar to that with GK with their uh, big numbers scrim. Those guys worked really well together, the infantry and archer combos there. Oh, interesting to see WK go one archer and everyone else cav. The archer messed up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Calls all cav and of course someone's not listening. Whoops. <laughs> wow, all these little trees on this map <laughs> didn't see before. Stopping everybody. And all these cav fighting on this hill just looks so nice. Even numbers, but I think we got one Wapa cab without a horse, maybe two. Yeah. I can't imagine the amount of practice time that goes into this cab play. This is incredible. What? game just crashed. And the Beautiful archer is shot. back. The Where archer comes in. And he just says hello with the headshot. <laughs> He's getting hit oh, pretty quickly. That was close. That was close. He was going to get like messed up there. Where's the support? <laughs> oh man. Wow, that turned cool. turn pretty quick actually. Really well defended by this archer. Yeah. Achilles. Oh, he went for the kick. I respect that. I respect that. I don't know <laughs> yeah. this idea. But I completely respect it. Wow. Yeah. Great way Good job. WK. I feel like Achilles just, he went in there and just turned it around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what it was, it was but just he just kind of, kind of like... Unexpected helped. archer in there, in the midst of all the cab, actually. Yeah, I think, it just kind of, I think it just threw him off a lot. Yeah. Because I feel like they were just kind of fighting and they were just like, oh crap. Yeah, it's, he kind of just started his bait and then... I mean, obviously he did well because he got those, what, like three kills? That was a good job, but I think it just totally threw off the Wapa Cav. Yeah. He was really well defended by his teammates, too. I made a big difference. Yeah, because they just went in, uh, when they went for the Archer, they just kind of, the WK Cav just came around and just lanced in the back. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty big loss right there. That's wow. two big losses. That's not good. Another big loss? Yeah, I mean, actually, pretty much everybody in this scrim is going to be a big loss for either team. I was about to say, you could argue that they're all big losses. It's crazy how even both of these teams are. Yeah. The numbers are always just like pretty much even to the end. The lot box seems like they're doing some more cab work. Uh, one up right now. This is just like the kind of thing I like to see out of Wapa, just lots of 
Just excellent cab play. Both of these teams have some really great stuff going on right here. WKs are looting those great lances, which is a good move. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was clever. Yeah. That was clever. They are down if Blade lured him out, and then the uh, guy came from behind, took out that horse. Good play. Yeah. Now Blade's just gonna finish off that horse there. Mm -hmm. well, now, like uh, Marnid and uh, Calamity are gonna get the most depressing moment of all time when they run and they get close to a horse, and then it just dies. <laughs> no horse for you. Well, there's still a lot of time before the flag spawn, and they have great lances. Yep. Honestly, they should the probably best. just wait for flags, because I don't... And horse genocide is committed. Yeah. No, they should just wait for masters. They shouldn't bother attacking them here. That's a bad idea. They're close enough, it might not even spawn. I'm not exactly yeah, sure true. about the specifics. Back up. Back so up, hope for a good spawn, get on the flags. Testing that I did with Great Lances is that the mounted Great Lances are still going to have a greater reach. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be harder to control for sure, but. And a much and narrower plus, um, chance of, of hitting, but... You still gotta yeah. time it out, though. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the, the fact that the guys on the ground with the Great Lances are not used to use the Great Lances on the ground. Yeah. But, uh, Calamity and Martyr, I'm sure they know how to... Uh, do there's it. no cover sucks. Now there. they're gonna have to just run. Why are they wasting time going around those guys? They should just get right to the flags and raise them as fast as they can. I mean, it sounds a little lame, but having one go there and the it'll side. be a better. Because it's going to slow them slow down, down a lot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. That makes that makes sense. I get it. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not enough. Going over here, shadow boxing. They're also yeah, going to have a better chance at killing these guys before they get to the flags. I think they'll get there, though. Yeah. This Kush is going to have to mount up before uh, before they show up. Yeah, that was really close. Now they're in the safe zone now. Yeah. Ah, they're good. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, going in more for very dying. Move. <laughs> Lucky. Oh, reminds me of that Nam Nam uh, horse public service announcement. If any of you have seen that. Oh, here we stop. Uh, tried to protect him. Oh, oh beautiful. Might need to save the day. That's the swap. Wapa looks unhappy with Thor uh, growling in all chat. I, I do wonder if like they both went on, went on the flag, if that would have been faster. Or uh, got the flags all the way up. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think it would have been wanted to stay together and Blade definitely also could have run down faster. more than he would have just sitting on the flag.
You won the first map? WK. Alright. I think it was 5 to 3 or something. Maybe just 5 to 2. There's another this map good pretty place nice. map. Wow. Impossible. The universe is gonna implode. <laughs> Why did huh. you roll that? Uh, they're vaguer. Uh, I guess they want so to favor their begin. archers. Oh, true. Okay, I get that. This is cliffs. But it's also Wapa, so... Cav. This one looks pretty good. It's got all the little trees in there, though. If you get rid of that map, that's just like... No way. Holy crap, they're picky. Yep. Cliffs and rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and a And it begins. The a pretty map, I think you're going for a... a hill with trees on it. Uh, like, I'd say, I'd say keep this one. This one's nice. <laughs> I'd keep it. Plant crops. Yeah, they do seem to have a very specific map in mind when they pick planes. We got the little trees again. I'm sure. It's not really random like planes, one, is it? But... Honestly, why don't we just have like it. a planes map, like a normal planes map that's just nice, and have like planes one, two, uh, three, and four, or something like that. It was brought up on the forums, correct? Was it? I I'm trying to see, see it. But WK go all cav when Wapa did not, and I bet it's really gonna work out in their favor. Them uh, great lances. You know, I'd say this map might even favor cav. It, had, it has hills, but as these small rolling hills that tend to hide cavalry from archers. Yeah, you're right. Or archers from yeah, cavalry from. It's like a uh, Wapa side. Doesn't have all the little trees to stop the cab either. Yeah, this map. So they could go map to a map that probably favor WK. Yeah. It's so interesting to see WK using Wapa's all cab strategy. When Wapa didn't use it themselves. Wapa also has a three archers without infantry support. I think that's really going to hurt them later on. When the flag yeah, spawns. Yeah, I'm going to bet that we can see a... Uh either a push by WK to kill all the archers, no. or just... WK, no, I'd do it, their honestly. best strategy right now is to wait for the flag, and wait for those archers to run without any infantry support. Yeah, yeah that's so true. Fucking dead. But they're gonna get charged when they're out on the planes, that's kinda one of them. Just as soon as they get out of like a nice little tree place. Like, even right now, they're not even in a... If they can get to those trees, that'd be fine, but like... Where they are currently on that hill? I pretty much think that WK could just run in there and kill all of them. No, uh, they're definitely gonna wait for Master. They can catch it pretty easily. Yeah, but you see, it'd be more fun if they just pushed now. Ah, uh, yes, there's the fun factor. Oh, 
Oh, Pray how did that Barrel happen? for actually making something interesting happen, and shout out to Salt the Slug for causing a fight. It'll take a fair bit longer for the flag to spawn now. Ah, that is way on the edge of the map. Barrels and WK is going for way? masters. Why is oh, WK remotely going close? For they gotta run a while. Oh yeah, they're there. Actually, Wapa's pretty close. They can just go over that hill and they can just shoot him. Uh, some WKs are wrapping around to make a hit right now. Surprised those arrows aren't aiming at those horses already. Oh, nice hit by Green Knight. Flag's almost up though. I'm really surprised Wapa is getting those archer kills. Hot Carl is just charging for. Oh, that is so depressing. Well, that's that is actually the most depressing thing. I mean, you've got yeah. Archer solo charging across an open field against an all cast yeah, team. Was like, what do you expect to happen? <laughs> you can just hear that, like, you can just hear that, like, chariots of fire music going. You're just like, I'm gonna get there, guys. I got this. I got this. And you just like right in his face. Oh, that was brutal to watch. Oh, that was sad. He's like, I'm got this, and then just Great Lance says, nope. Jesus is smart. Keep it's so right. That was well played by WK. Yep. And they're playing for the map now. So right now WK has four and WAPA has one. WK takes one more round and they have two maps. And the match. Wapa's doing the same strategy with their setup. Three archers. And just like after watching last round, you know that the same thing is going to happen again. WK, they're going to wait for that flag spawn, and then when Wapa is running to the flag, they're just going to pick off those archers one by one. What's really odd is that this is one of the same tactics Wapa uses all the time and they're just not they're just not fighting it properly. So can you have some commentary on the camping here? I don't know if I have any more. I can't make any more jokes about can. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty boring. Gonna check my Facebook. <laughs> I 
all the uh, chat has turned from uh, like this to getting other people's Facebook and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And stock stalking stuff. This also happens on the European streaming channel. Everyone doesn't pay attention to the man and just keep spamming the chat on Twitch TV. <laughs> Yeah, you guys get a lot of viewers on those channels. You have a lot more people involved in those matches though too, because you, you know, with a, you still have the, or had the Nations Cup going on for a while. Cool stuff at the beginning. Started out just like this one. But the main thing is, there are, you guys allow too many specs on these matches. You have people, force people to watch the match somewhere else, like in the stream. Some nice captures by the uh, archers UK just team. torn apart. I think it was completely expected. There we have it. Ouch. Two maps, one by decisive. WK, and that's the match. They it's are on top of the maps, the match. though. You guys also pick the MVP, like we do in Europe? No, MVP is stupid, it's about the team. <laughs> I'd, I'd go with for real. Oh, Vero had that crazy moment where he's like, actually, Vero is just a crazy motherfucker. So <laughs> instead, of, how about we, like instead of MVP, we just have the crazy motherfucker award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vero definitely had a crazy motherfucker moment in the last map. Sitting on that flag. And then uh, Achilles on this uh, on this map as the lone archer. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah. All right. Thanks for commentating, guys. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Keep an eye out for sticking out through two. So much appreciated.